past four years, All Elite Wrestling has revolutionized professional wrestling. Tonight, they make a return to Arthur Ashe Stadium for their annual Grand Slam event. And our next guest is a fellow New Yorker and will be defending his AEW World Championship against Samoa Joe. At just 27 years old, he has accomplished a lot in wrestling. He's polarizing, he's brash, he's the master of the mic, and according to him, he's, quote, better than you, and you know it. This weekend, he stopped by my other home, City Field. Please welcome All Elite Wrestling's World Heavyweight Champion, Plainview, Long Island's very own Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. MJF, take it away. New York, how we feeling today, baby? My name is MJF. You can catch me this Wednesday at Arthur Ashe. But enough about me. Let's play ball! Best play ball we have had. Of all time. <laughs> let's, let's just be honest. Of all time. Let me, Come give, on. let me give you your props. Hold okay. on. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome the AEW world champ, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, also known as MJF. Very true. That's all accurate. That's all accurate. <laughs> you did a great job. It That's one of the greatest introductions I've ever had. Is that right? I could be your hype woman. Ooh. Why not? Why not? You Maybe you can come to the show tonight. I would love to. Uh, it was wonderful to see you at City Field. Even more wonderful to see you at this second home of mine. Mm. Um, I see you have some hardware. We're going to get to It's very that. heavy. It's also very pretty as well. It, not as pretty as you. No. But well, nothing <laughs> is. I mean, come on. What are we doing here? Let's talk about yeah. the company. Tell us why a new Grand Slam is such a big deal every So year. it's huge. You know, before AEW came into the fold, um, you know, professional wrestling was pretty much monopolized. It was monopoly, yeah. right? And, you know, we came in, we created a legitimate, brand new, bold alternative yeah. with incredible professional wrestlers, obviously with me at the helm, uh, being the most incredible. Obviously. And, you know, there had never really been a professional wrestling event ever at Arthur Ashe. Right. And then we came. And yeah. this is our third year now. You can see us there tonight. Tickets starting at only $20. And I'm going to be in the main event against that fat tub of goose, Samoa Joe. Not, and I'm going to choke not, him out. I was going to ask about yeah. Samoa Joe. Yeah, horrible guy. Horrible. horrible. We don't like him. We don't boo. like him. Boo. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, boo. <laughs> Please, when you come to the show tonight, boo. I Samoa Joe. I, from from, sure the, hotel, from the U.S. Open to this, this is fantastic. Well, yeah. This is why New York City is the city of dreams. So you're the reigning champ. Of course. Um, you go against Samoa How are you feeling about tonight? So here's the deal. I'm not 100%. My neck's actually been bothering me a little bit. Oh, no. Bit. I know. It's because Samoa Joe is a horrible person, oh. and he, he sneak attacked me. Is that right? That's true. Which, by the way, you could have saw that sneak attack on Wednesday on Dynamite. We're on Wednesday on TBS every single week at 8 p.m. I'm really good at this. By the way, do you see how I'm getting all my plugs in while the, I'm explaining the, the, You this are like a well-oiled machine. It's unreal. How many matches have you had at AEW, and and who would you say was your best or your your best match? That you I had? would say the stiffest competition I ever had was a guy by the name of Brian Danielson. Uh -huh. We had a match that lasted about one hour and eight minutes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, um, what's, for those who don't know, what's the average length? You know, an match? average match time length, you're looking at six to eight minutes. Um, but, yeah, we were two uh, very What were you hungry. guys had? Did you have a break? Did you have a potty break? We I mean, don't do is... breaks. We don't do breaks. <laughs> All we do is beatings. No breaks. And uh, we both were fighting over this here piece of hardware, the AEW World Championship. It is and the that's... most decorated and, let's be honest, the most prestigious world championship in my sport. This is fantastic. And that's why we had to fight each other for over an hour to see who the better man was. And as you can guess... It was your hometown boy, MJF. Plainview's very own. It's very true. This Plainview is fantastic. So what other matches are on the lineup? So, like I said, the honestly, the most exciting matchup for wrestling fans right now is me versus Samoa Joe. I which believe that 1,000%. will be the main event tonight at Grand mm -hmm. Slam. And I will be defending this title right here. And I'll also be defending the honor of my best friend, Adam Cole. Because, again, not only did Samoa Joe sneak attack me, he sneaked attack my boy, Adam. Who is this Samoa Joe? And why tell is you he allowed he is. to walk the streets? He's a horrible person. <laughs> He's a horrible person, but I'm going to take care of him tonight at Arthur Ashe. Not that you need any reminding, but I feel like I should remind you. Please you, do. You placed number six on the 2023 Pro Wrestling Illustrated 500 list. Yep. Top, uh, that's the top 500 professional wrestlers in the world. That's no. Why was I number six? The reason is there was a typo. I actually talked to the editor. I was supposed to be number one. Mm -hmm. There's a whole entire mess occurred. Yeah. They're fixing it right now in post. There's going to the, be a new magazine one, that's shipped out. The si I could see how it's, that... It gets confusing, the, especially because the people that work at PWI are all illiterate. Is that right? 100%. 100%. They need better copy editors. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm free if they need... I've won many of other awards, though. I've won uh, Best 
heel award of the heel. year, which I don't agree with. I'm a pretty likable guy, I think. I, I, I think I'm salt of the earth. You know, I've also won best talker. I've won best looking. When I was in high school, I won pedestrian's worst nightmare, but I don't know <laughs> if that applies. Um, but I've won a lot of awards in my day. Um, can we go back to baseball for a second? Because sure. since you're listing your best sub, absolutely. What did you think of the game? Did you want to go out there and take some BP? Did you want to get your? You know, why, it, why didn't? Buck looks like they didn't the need line? my help. Looks like they didn't need my That's help. Right. We, we actually, you know what? We won. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. We did win. Can you believe that? We did win. And I know why we won. Because you were there. Because I was. You there. did play ball. Because MJF was in you the house. <laughs> That's right. Oh, there you are. That's right. I love it. Yeah. So you were born and raised uh, in Plainview. You played. Football? I did. At Plainview? I did. Uh, old Beth Page, John F. Kennedy High School. But we hear that from a young age, you knew that this is what you wanted to do. You wanted to be a wrestler. Always knew. Day really? One. Yes. What yes. was it? Did you watch something? Did you know, you hear I something? was such a massive fan of professional wrestling growing up, and I'll never forget going to Madison Square Garden Aww. and just watching everything unfold in front of my eyes. And I looked up at my father and I said, I want to do that. And obviously, he looked at me like I was absolutely insane because as a five foot nothing Jewish kid from Long Island, you're supposed to be a doctor, <laughs> a lawyer, lawyer, a dentist, you know? Um, not a pro wrestler, but you know, what I try to tell everybody is if you strive for a dream, anything is genuinely possible, yeah. especially when you're this disturbingly good looking and talented. I mean, the, 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 the rays of electricity beaming off me, yeah. I feel like I'm getting a suntan It's here. called being a megastar. It's you being know? a, you know what, let yeah. me just, I just want to. Does that feel, I bet that, that's. Woo, that's hot. Yeah. That's hot. Her fingers, on, it's on fire right I, now. My fingerprints are no Now I wanted to no ask you, I normally please. don't allow people to do this, but we're really getting on. Yeah. Would you like to hold the AEW world title? I thought you would never ask. Okay. May I? No, I'm just gonna warn you, it's heavy. Okay, because you know, the Stanley Cup, you can't really, this is your, I have your blessing? Listen, this is, this might as well be called the Maxi Cup. It is much more prestigious than the Stanley one. Just oh be very careful. Oh, jeez. It this is, is it's heavy. Is. It's no joke. How much does this weigh? So that right there, um, I, <laughs> I don't know. This takes up my entire torso, by the way. Uh, I believe that right there is 15 pounds. How, this is, this is what I do um, tries with, 15 pounds. There you go. Wow. Yeah. This is something else. Yeah. I'm gonna give it back to you before I break Absolutely. it and then I'm gonna have to pay for it. Okay, there we and go. And that's gonna stay with you. Well, of course it is. And if you wanna watch me defend mm -hmm. it, you can tonight at Arthur Ashe Grand Slam Stadium. Once again mentioning, tickets available and starting at only $20, so I don't care how much of a bum you are, you can afford to see me wrestle. Do yourself a favor, listen to the man. So, do we shake, do wrestlers shake hands? Do we, you know we, what, do we for bump? you, yes. Normally, okay. I don't like to touch people. Okay. But we really got on today. I, I would agree. And I love your dress. Oh I do. Oh my God, I'm for Clint. It could use some Burberry, but I like your dress. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's very pretty. Thank you so very much. You don't need it, but good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs>